So should we talk about like dicks or something? Yeah, you want to talk about dicks? <laughs> I love talking about dicks. <laughs> What's your ideal dick size? This is a question that I'm asked like so many, so many times. I'm making this face and crossing my arms because I always answer this honestly, but by 99% of men, I am told I'm a liar. (laughs) So I'm going to answer this honestly. I got nothing to hide. I've already said a bunch of crazy things today. Um, My perfect size would be medium and I do like foreskin. We were talking about Tommy Pistol earlier. Mm Mm-hmm. His penis just popped into my head. Um, bigger is not better. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a small girl and I have a pretty small vagina. And I could think of two scenes that it just hurt so bad that that was years ago. And I mm-hmm. still remember it. And I could have called cut and canceled it anytime. No one was forcing me to do it. But I wanted to get the scene done. And mm-hmm. um yeah, two big hurts. And also having a big means nothing if you don't know how to use it. Mm-hmm. And even if your job, your one job, your profession is to use that big dick while everybody watches, sometimes a lot of male performers still can't even write. Mm-hmm. <laughs> also too, like sometimes if the piece is like really big, that they it's harder to get hard because it requires like more blood yes so and sometimes they're so big you can't put it in your mouth without using your teeth because yeah your mouth only opens so wide yeah that's true i remember saying to some of those guys oh you poor thing you've never been deep throated and then all the other guys inside are like don't feel bad for him (laughs) (laughs) so you say you like an average size what is average to you See, people go by inches, but everybody always lies, and I've never really gotten out a tape measure. So, I don't know. I'd say five, six inches, but I I think five and a half is, like, average. Yeah. I have very tiny hands. Like, I literally can't buy rings because my ring size is three. Mm -hmm. I have very tiny hands for those. (laughs) And um, with these two fingers, I could reach the back of my Mm Mm-hmm. So if this reaches the back of my vagina and I could come five times in a row, why would I need a dick this big? Mm. And also I try to explain to guys the dicks and porn are big for aesthetics and also we're at 90 degree angles to let the camera in. So you got to have a couple extra inches right there just to go around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> That's so true. I've said – this is exactly what I've said because – I can tell you as a director and a photographer, we, there needs to be insertion, but we also need to see the piece as well. So it has to be long enough that there can be some separation between the bodies yeah. in order to see it. If the only way that we can see the piece, I mean, if the piece is all the way in and then there's no more to go, then I can't see anything. All I see is two bodies pressed together and that's not what we want. Exactly. So yeah, it's, it's, it's like for technical reasons and it's also like, there's a fantasy and it's not real huh. and um your masculinity is not measured by you know your performance in bed and like your size and so many guys try to lead with that and i always say uh hey before you let a girl know that you have a nice which i'm sure half of them are lying there's 20 other steps before you even get to show her your piece mm-hmm. like I said the other day, what's your, they asked me during my live show last night, what's your favorite type of penis? And I said, oh, my favorite penis is the one that's attached to a gentleman who is truthful and generous and sweet and listens to my rambling stories <laughs> and knows how to make me come. I love that. Yeah. So that's my favorite type of penis. And you could have the most amazing penis. But if you're a piece of shit human being, yeah, I'm thinking of another person in the industry right now. Ooh, I won't ask until after the podcast, and then you can give me a name. <laughs> and then you'll be like, oh, yeah, everybody says that about him. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, taught me that, too. Like, um, I, had sex, I have so many people, and some of them are the absolute most beautiful, physically attractive people you've seen – but their attitudes just make them mm-hmm. 
not attractive to me at all or mm -hmm. the opposite. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.